All right, locking out other vectors. This time we're locking out a camera vector. So in this case, you know, I don't want to look up and down. Okay, or around for that matter, because that makes me feel ill. All right, what that probably is, is your main camera, of course. And under your main camera, I have this mouse look script. I have the same mouse look script under player. All right because it is being introduced as a main camera. So I'm gonna actually handle it at first person controller level because that's the top of the food chain. And just by turning this off, what happens? If I hit play, I can still look up and down, okay? But I can now not rotate around. So that's one way of handling it. But in no first person shooter has I ever been wanting to look down at the ground like this. Why would I? All right, now, so let's turn on that code. It can't be handled by simply shutting things off. You have to go in and edit the script. So now I'm gonna look around for what makes it tip up and down. Well, Right here, let's go to Y quantitation. And let's look at rotation for a second. So right now it's being rotated by X by get input access from the mouse. Look, again, here's that, here's that thing right here. Get access mouse, and here's the red script. That means that it's coded, hard coded into the actual system itself. So, if we look at the top of the food chain here, if the axis of the rotation, so this is my first if statement, and here it is, else. So what I'm going to do is actually go in here and zero the if out. Okay. Then I'm close that out, save it and hit play. Okay, I can still look up and down, and I can still go this way. In fact, it's very sensitive now. So let's look at the code again and see what else is there. If I look here, it says right here at my public declaration that there's a 360 and a 60 degrees. Okay, X, Y. So at the top, these are commonly noted variables. At my variables, I might want to take those out and zero them all out. Okay, so I still have the ability to look around, and it's still annoying. And there we go. But I can still look up. But at least one thing got conquered. I can't go around the object. But I can still look up. Again, this is Frankenstein at his best. You must find out, and you're learning from this, believe it or not, what is doing what. So the rotation on X is in question. Just looking around here for a second before I go adding any more zeros or ones anywhere. Going to get rid of all these get axis. I could probably get rid of the script too, but what fun would that be, right? And there we go. <laughs> now I have a side scroller. Now, to truly test it out, does it make sense? If I put this box in the way and I try to jump over it, what happens? Well, let's see. Do I have the ability to go in and say, I want to jump a little bit higher? That's what I want. Let's find out. Jump speed, gravity. Okay. 
Okay, first off, I'm going to take speed and up that a little bit. Yeah, that makes it a little bit better. And then I'm going to try to put this in the path of the pill. There we go. Okay, so they're now on the same level. And I can nicely jump over it or on top of it for that matter, because that's what it really takes for a side schooler, right? The ability to jump on an object. And now what about the ability to fail? Okay, for one, I can jump all day long and I can jump on the box, but what if I fell? How was that handled? So now that's what we're going to look at is maybe a kill zone and how that works. So this video is just amply labeled um, locking out camera. There we go. On to the next video.